Today we're gonna talk about Rhodiola rosea, an adaptogen herb that contains over 140 active compounds. It provides a whole range of benefits, but should you really supplement it? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. So Rhodiola rosea is a plant that grows mainly in the Northern Hemisphere. You can find it in Europe, you can find it in Western China, also in Russia and other parts of Asia. And Rhodiola rosea became very, very popular in the last years. You can find it in many supplements. You can also find it in some of the most popular nootropic stacks that I personally recommend it. The question is, why is it so? And should you really supplement it? Now, I want to share with you some of the main benefits of supplementing Rhodiola rosea. We're going to talk about the side effects, how to supplement it. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you if you should supplement it or not. Let's begin. So let's check out the main benefits of supplementing Rhodiola rosea. So the first benefit is that Rhodiola rosea is obviously an adaptogen herb. This means that it works in different ways to ease your stress. It does contain different active compounds that will make you more relaxed and less under stress. And this is one of the main benefits and one of the main reasons why you should consider supplementing Rhodiola rosea. The second benefit is that it can boost your energy levels. Even a low dosage of Rhodiola rosea can uh, give you more energy and at the same time release you from fatigue. It also works as an antidepressant and it can improve your mood. So a lot of people I know um, take Rhodiola rosea mainly because they feel much better after they supplement it. Another benefit of supplementing Rhodiola rosea is that it can improve your cognitive function. It can improve your memory, it can improve your performance and it should also help you with sleep. Actually, Rhodiola rosea is one of the best and most effective brain supplements on the market. Now, before we continue, let me ask you, have you ever tried Rhodiola rosea? Have you ever supplemented it? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, another benefit of supplementing Rhodiola rosea is that it can improve your athletic performance. Now, I'm not gonna say this is, you know, one of the best supplements for improving your athletic performance, but it can definitely increase your endurance. And, you know, this is kind of one of the benefits that is, is good to have it, or, you know, it's good to know that it exists, but it's not gonna be the main reason why I would recommend supplementing Rhodiola rosea. Another benefit of supplementing Rhodiola rosea is that certain compounds of it might be beneficial for treating cancer. Now, there has to be more studies done to confirm that, but the research that I found goes in these directions and shows that Rhodiola rosea might be beneficial here. And last but not least, there has been some initial studies done that show uh, benefits of Rhodiola rosea on helping people to uh, control diabetes. Again, we are in the first stages of, of research here, so more have to be done, but it's really good to know, um, you know all the potential benefits of supplementing this herb. Now, the recommended daily dosage is somewhere between 50 milligrams per day to up to 700 milligrams per day. Uh, most supplements contain around 50 milligrams of Rhodiola rosea, you can easily increase it, at least based on my research, to up to 100 milligrams, even to 200 milligrams. But based on what I found is that, you know, higher dosages won't necessarily uh, provide more benefits. So if you're in the range between 50 to 100, up to 200 milligrams per day, this should work just fine. By the way, guys, I have revealed seven hidden secrets about nootropics that no one else will tell you about. To get them, download my free handbook below. So, how about the side effects? Is Rhodiola rosea safe? Well, again, based on the research I've done, yes, it is safe. Um, you know, most studies that I went through uh, show no negative side effects of supplementing it, especially if you follow the recommended daily dosage, which is very, very important. Now, some people report some issues with insomnia and some people had some issues with, with headaches, but that's basically it. Now, when it comes to insomnia, what I would recommend you is uh, supplementing Rhodiola rosea in the morning, so taking it in the morning to avoid any kind of potential issues with insomnia. Based on the current research, Rhodiola rosea also doesn't interact with any other drugs, so it is considered safe. But as I always recommend when it comes to nootropics, do consult your doctor before supplementing it. Now guys, if you wanna try Rhodiola rosea, or if you wanna read more about it, there are some links below. I've made a whole review, you can check it out. Um, also, I share in this review uh, different ways where you can buy Rhodiola rosea as a single compound or as a single 
um, supplement, but what I personally recommend is stacking it with other nootropics, other effective ingredients that can, you know, provide simultaneously or simultaneous effects and, you know, they can really improve your cognitive and potentially physical uh, performance. So, for additional information, check it out below, there are some links. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Don't forget to follow Your Inception on Facebook and Instagram and I definitely hope to see you soon. Take care guys.